Today, I want to talk to you about Sapphire. Since it's September, I have a really big sapphire that I wrapped myself. And then I have some rough sapphire right here. I also have two little sapphire gemstones right here. So sapphire is actually a precious gemstone. It's up there with diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. So this is what a rough sapphire looks like. It's not that pretty to look at. The gemstones that you see all the time, they actually, you know, you have to get a piece of rough sapphire, some gemstone quality, and they have to cut it, sand it, grind it, polish it, and really get it to look like a gemstone. So, sapphire is the birthstone for September. Sapphire is actually a gem variety of something called corundum. I hope I pronounced that right. The other variety is ruby. Blue is not the only color that sapphires come in. Sapphire, you also can have white, yellow, black, gray, a pinkish orange color. Yeah, so it's not just blue, but most people associate sapphire with blue. So you can find sapphire in several different places all over the world, but it's really kind of a long list and I'm not going to list them all out for you today. So since it is a precious gemstone, the price range is going to be on the upper price range. However, you can get you some rough sapphire and it'll be way less expensive. If you're just wanting something to add to your crystal collection and not wear, I highly recommend going on Etsy and finding you a seller on there. Just search rough sapphire and you can get some very good rough pieces that are pretty inexpensive. The chakras for sapphire, it all depends on the color. Black sapphire is going to be your root chakra. Blue sapphire is your throat chakra. Green sapphire is your heart chakra. Indigo sapphire is your third eye. Pink sapphire is the heart chakra. White sapphire is the crown chakra. And yellow sapphire is your solar plexus chakra. Sapphire is known as the wisdom stone. However, each particular color brings its own particular wisdom. It releases mental tension, depression, unwanted thoughts, and spiritual confusion. So when you're thinking of sapphire, think wisdom, calming, psychic protection, and also prosperity and joy. It's helpful to meditate for mental clarity, psychic activation, and increasing your intuition. And then psychic protection wise, it's good at protection from lower vibration entities. Since it's so calming, it can help you in balancing emotional outbursts, help you also align with higher realms. If your birthday's in September, I highly recommend getting some sapphire. I don't feel like it's an essential stone to have, but since it's my first stone, I have quite a few. And the gemstones are very, very pretty to have. So sapphire guys, get you some sapphire. That's all I have for today. Love and light to you all.